Hi everyone, welcome back to Chef Grey Cat's Kitchen. Anyway, today we're going to make some zaples or zeppelis. Uh, as a kid, we used to call them zaples in, uh, when I lived on the Jersey Shore and in the New York area. Uh, very, very simple recipe. Two cups of all-purpose flour with one teaspoon of salt added to the flour. Our liquids is one cup of warm water, 109 to 115 degrees, one tablespoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of yeast. You're going to let that sit for about five minutes to blossom, like this one has. I've already let it sit. I'm going to stir it around and then add it to our flour. And our last ingredient will be a tablespoon of olive oil. You know what, I'm going to take this off so I don't make too much of a mess. Pouring in this liquid. And I'll put it back on the whisk. Okay. Alright, yep, got everything. Because you know we hate to waste. Just dropping this in the sink so I can wash it in a few minutes. Alright, our last ingredient is a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to have to refill this soon. Okay, there it is. Okay. Into the sink to wash that also. We'll put our dough hook on. Very simple recipe. You're going to love these. Um, if you have a paper bag around the house, a lunch bag or a medium shopping bag, paper, that would be a great thing for later on. And I'll show you how we serve these. But for now, we're just going to mix up our batter. And it's going to be pretty much a thin batter. Uh, there's not a lot to this recipe other than letting it sit and be patient with it so that it proofs up good. And then we'll be deep frying. The one thing I will say, in our deep fry, uh, whatever you choose to use, a small Dutch oven, large Dutch oven for your deep frying or a wok or whatever, use clean, fresh vegetable oil. That is a must because you do not want these tasting like last week's deep fried chicken or your shrimp or whatever you deep fried last in your household. If you're going to have more than four people over for the big game and you want to make this for a dessert, uh, which I would highly recommend, um, double the ingredients. I will post the written ingredients on the bottom of the YouTube video where it says show more. And right now I'm basically going to knock the uh, flour that's sticking to the sides down into my bowl. So I'm going to turn this off, raise the hook, knock this down. Because it's very thin, the uh, the hook doesn't do as much agitation as it does with a thicker um, dough. Uh, what happens is this cuts right through the liquids and it takes a much longer time if you try to let the machine do all the uh, incorporation of the flour. So I'm just giving it a little push here because I want to save time so that I can start the other video for today, which is shrimp beignets. And if I get done in time, I'll show you the dipping sauce that I like, which is a spicy peanut sesame seed uh, Thai dipping sauce. And I use that, uh, I may be strange, but I actually like to dip my beignets into that sauce. It's also great for shrimp, uh, you know, deep fried shrimp, quick fried shrimp. Um, if if you like peanut taste and peanut butter, ah, this is the sauce for you if you want to add a little zest to your life. A little spicy, but it's good. Anyway, we're back to the Zeppeli or Zeppel uh, recipe. We're mixing it up good now. 
I'm going to go a little higher on the speed. As you see, I've turned it up to six, and I'll let that go about a minute, minute and a half that way. I just want to make sure that everything at the bottom of the bowl is incorporated, and this way we'll have a nice batter when it's done. I'll get the uh, slam wrap, and then we'll cut the bowl. Okay, that's bad enough. What we're going to do is scrape our go hook. Oh, I already rinsed off and our scraper. Oh yeah, nice and sticky. waste any of this batter. Okay, so now I'm chasing the worm down the hole. And thank God I have clean hands. Come on, off you go. There we go, finally. All right, we're going to take that uh, mixing bowl for my KitchenAid and cover it with a uh, plastic wrap. We'll do this so it can rise over the next uh, ah, two to three to four hours. Really doesn't matter with this uh, type of dough or batter. I should actually call it because it is rather thin. And the one thing I hate about plastic wrap, it always seems to fold in on itself. Yeah, there we go. Getting all screwed up already. Gosh, this is like WrestleMania. Oh. All right, I'll do it the easy way. Put the plastic wrap on one side of the bowl. Cover your bowl. Pull the sides. I don't like to waste plastic wrap, but in this instance, the heck with it. I'm not going to play. Try to undo the Chinese puzzle that it becomes when it's all wrinkled up. Okay, I do like the slide cutter from the Great Value plastic wrap. Okay, you can see our dough, it's very loose, a little bit liquidy, and that's exactly what you want. All right, I'm going to set this aside. I will get back to you when it is time to cook these zaples and serve them. All right, that's it for now. I'll take a three or four hour break in order to make the uh, shrimp beignets while this rises. And we'll come back and cook it all and uh, make a video out of it. All right, guys, love you. See you in a bit. Okay, everyone, we're back with the Zeppelis, or Zaples as I used to call them as a kid. Uh, you can see that our uh, batter mix foamed up pretty good. I kind of plopped it on the counter so it sank a little bit, but that's not a problem. Once that mixture hits the hot oil, 
it is going to puff up and become a delicious uh, dessert treat. I have a paper bag to the left and what we do is after we cook them and put them on the uh, paper towel to drain, we put them in a paper bag with powdered sugar. Then we jumble them around and serve. And this is one of the sweetest, greatest treats you'll ever have. Uh, yeah, it's a little sticky. I'll show you a few tricks how to get the dough out of the bowl and into the frying pan. And I'll move the camera over for the frying in just a moment. Okay, I'll be back with you soon. Okay, our oil is now up to about 370. At least I hope that's the temp. Kind of burns the fingers a little bit when you have a short probe like this one. Yeah, we're at 370. So, we are going to start adding our Zeppeli mixture. Now, the trick to this is you dip your spoon in the hot oil before you grab a batch of the Zeppeli. And yes, it's going to be stringy and gooey. And you get it till you got a heaping teaspoon of dough. And then you do it again. I'm going to make this one wrap. I'm going to push it off so that we've got one Zeppeli. By the way, always have three or four whisks in your kitchen because one will end up being in the dishwasher, one will be used for something else. And as you notice, I dipped my spoon again. And I come up with a nice healthy spoonful. And I'm only going to cook three. Um, this is just to show you how to make them. And uh, as you can see, this one's browned on half the side, so we'll try to flip her over. This one's getting there. They don't take a long, long time to cook. You just want to cook until they're golden brown. And when you see the edges around here start to get golden brown, then you flip them over. And then you'll flip them over one more time, basically. And then you'll plate them to a plate that has a couple of paper towels on it. Kind of like I've got here. Then, once they've cooled for about one minute, two minutes, and they're still pretty nice and hot. We're going to uh, put a quarter cup of powdered sugar in our paper bag. Uh, you stay there, flip over. You might have to hold it with your um, whatever utensil you're using to fry. Okay, stay down there, puppy. Okay, I'm going to let that one go. Flip this one back over. There we go. Flip this one over. Nope, I'm not going to flip that one over. It still needs to cook. So I'll continue holding that one down a little bit. And I usually fry these four to six at a time. Uh, this batch will make probably about uh, a dozen to 14, uh, depending upon how you spoon it. 
like I said, if you've got a lot of company for the big game, you're going to want to go with bigger quantities. Just double it. Okay, that one's finally staying put, which means it's properly cooking. I'm just going to have to flip that one more time. This one's just about done. See how it's kind of a nice golden brown tan? That is, that is what we want. Okay, I'll kind of bang off the extra oil, put it on our plated paper towels plate. Okay, this is the way we want it, where they flip and stay on their sides just as they should. They're good little Zeppelis, they're obeying our instructions. So we're having a good time here. And when I used to go to Pasquale's Pizzeria, it was like, give me a bag of Zaples. And we all called them Zaples as kids, but they're actually some people call them Zeppelis, and I was told the proper pronouncing is Zeppelis. So, it is what it is, but who cares? As long as you have the recipe and are able to make them, we just want to eat them. Okay. Off we go. I'm not making any more. Uh, I'll finish the beignet shrimp uh, shrimp beignet recipe in a few minutes, but uh, this will be the re uh, zeppoli or ze zeppoli um, recipe. You can make these at home, and I'll show you how we finish them off. Okay, again onto our plated paper towels. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so our plated Zeppelis have had time to drain off the excess oil. They're still quite hot. What we're going to do is take about a ah, eighth of a cup of powdered sugar, put it in our paper bag, drop the Zeppelis into them, and give them a good shake. Now you'll also want to have a little dish of powdered sugar sent on the table so you can dip uh, the bitten portions of your Zeppelis or Zaples into them as you eat them. And the reason that we use the paper bag is because at the temperature that they are, they're quite hot. The plastic bag would start to melt. Wow. I'm going to try one. I uh, didn't cook a lot of these because my new treatments, medications, and everything else that I'm going through now for the next uh, three, four weeks have really ruined my appetite. But, give this one a try. Oh, that is perfect. Look at that fluffy inside. Man, you are going to so love these. This brings my childhood streaming back to me. And this is what I meant about dipping again in the powdered sugar. Okay, I'll post the recipe along with the video. 
you see they're super simple to make you just got to give yourself about three four hours to let that dough rise and then once you do it's basically oh 10 minute 12 minute 14 minute project uh, to make a beautiful dessert if you're gonna have more than uh, four people over to enjoy these they're gonna probably want three each so you want to double the recipe um, so everybody can have some and they can take some home they can reheat them in the oven at 225 and then do the sugar uh, do the sugar as you serve them not before and send them home with unsugared ones and they can take care of the rest. All right, that's our Zeppeli or Zaples recipe. I love you guys. I'm going to finish up the shrimp beignets. And uh, hopefully these two recipes for today will be something you want to try and experiment with. And I love you all. And tomorrow will be the peanut Thai sauce uh, that you'll use to dip your beignets into. Okay. Have a great evening. Talk to you soon.